Okay, tonight I'm going to do my sweet potato harvest. Uh, last year I dug them after they got popped by the frost and I never even thought anything of it. And they didn't keep very well. And now I'm reading that you're supposed to dig them before frost or immediately after frost in order for them to store the best. I don't know what it is about frost hitting the vines that makes them not store well, but I've got two different independent resources that say that it something about it makes them not store well. So I'm going to take their word for it. So I'm going to dig them tonight. It's supposed to get down as low as 35 on Wednesday. And I don't think that'll make it. I don't think that'll kill them. But regardless, I, I want to get them dug up. So I'm going to go ahead and dig them. Um, you can see there's all sorts of shoots sticking up out there that would love to be started. But my little project uh, over here of the slips and the dirt has yielded. There's one start there. There's another little start down there, and there's one over here. So I've got a couple starts in there, so I just need to remember to get that moved somewhere at least under cover, which I probably won't, and then it'll probably get frosted, and then I'll lose everything, but that's okay because i got a long time before I will plant one. Anyway, just want to show this to you guys. I've got my bed here. Is, um, it's about 15 to 20 feet long by about 4 feet wide, and it is just lush with lines. Now the vines didn't really take off and start growing until about two months ago. Up until then, they seemed to, they were just stalled all summer long, kept getting eaten off by rabbits or whatever. But they're ready to go now, so I'm going to yank these vines and uh, throw them in the chicken coop, and then I'm going to get to all doing right, so. <clears throat> there's the debris, uh, a monstrous windrow of vines. I've probably got <laughs> honestly probably more weight in vines than I do in sweet potatoes. Um, I noticed as I was pulling them, an awful lot of these little red roots, um, not necessarily any big roots. I didn't, I didn't turn up any big spuds at all. I mean, here's a decent size one for being a little root. Now this is funny because my brother sent us a picture of his sweet potato patch about half as big as mine. And he was really excited about what he was gonna dig. This is my brother in Dallas. He was really excited about what he might find. And this is about all he found was a little root like this. So boy, I sure hope. <laughs> I hope my harvest isn't the same as his because I made fun of him a lot, but uh, we're going to find out tonight. So here's what's left of the raised bed. You can see it's wide open. I just yanked all the vines off the surface. And I did unveil, unfortunately, a fire ant mound right about there. So have fun digging for sweet potatoes through that, but I suppose I'll manage. So I'm going to try to get some of these vines, if not all of them, drug over to the chicken run. Well, and I'm going to get to these. Pretty, pretty sad, pretty sad show. Um, I think I'll title this video Too Little Too Late because what I found an awful lot of was these long skinny roots that hadn't swollen out yet. I did find a few fun surprises. Um, an Irish potato that was dug up, oh, months and months ago before I planted the sweet potatoes. Look at that, he was actually trying to re-sprout on me. But it's still firm. I think it's still edible. And I found somewhere amongst the sweet potatoes, I found, I believe this is a new potato. It looks the same color as a sweet potato, but the flesh underneath is a little bit lighter. I think that's a new potato that I had, a red, a red potato that I had planted in there before the Irish potatoes even. No, sorry, the red was after the Irish, uh, but, but before the sweets. But I did have uh, one record setter for me. This is by far the biggest sweet potato I've ever grown for sure. And I had that one, and then this one here was right beside it. And one more here, decent one. These three, these three big ones, were all off the same plant. And I found all of them right here, right at the very start. So here's my tomato cages. So I'm on the end of the bed. And everything out through here was all nothing or else it was those little sticker red roots. So what I think happened was, I put up a video I think a long, or you know, months ago, and I talked about how the rabbits had been eating off all my sweet potato slips. Every time they'd start to sprout up, rabbits would come through and mow them off. And finally it was just, uh, I don't know if something else killed the rabbits, I didn't, I was going to, but I didn't. They just stopped showing up, and they stopped eating all my sweet potato vines. And the vines finally took off, but that was about, maybe, middle of August before they really started growing and uh, 
I think they just didn't have time. I mean, and most of them originated from this these, this plant right up here on this end where these big ones were. And the vines spread out and took over the whole bed. But all they did was they put down these little, I mean, sucker roots, basically. Had, had I given them no, enough time, had they had enough time, I do believe these would have developed into um, tubers. But there just wasn't enough time. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Might just wash all these off and feed them to the feed them to the guinea pig. I mean, they're, they're not hardly worth processing. I could maybe just chunk them up and, and steam them down, but I don't know. I can't make up my mind what I want to do. So anyway, just thought I'd share with y'all. Um, I think the lesson learned from this is, you know, and, and I knew this, but I got naive and I ignored it. You know, just because you got great big bushy vines um, does not mean you have any sort of decent sweet potato at all underneath of them. Um, you really got to make sure your nutrient balance right because the problem that I had was I had obviously a lot of nitrogen and so they, the vines, the tops grew like crazy and just didn't put anything beneath. So you got to have your nutrient balance right. Um, the other thing I would say is when you're planting out, you know, don't be shy about how many slips you originally plant because the slips that you first plant are what's going to develop into the best tubers. As the vines spread out and they put down roots of their own, those roots they put down aren't going to develop the same as the original planted slip that you put down. So, you know, I would recommend, I think, from this experience, certainly um, overplant with slips when you first plant. Just lay those in almost, you know, as thick as you possibly can based on different, you know, resources that you can find that tell you the spacing. You might even go a little bit tighter than that. That's what I'll try next year. Is overplant with slips, and uh, hopefully that'll lead to a much better harvest. Last year I got. I think 25 pounds of sweet potatoes from a space um, less than half the size of what I dug tonight. And here I'm looking at maybe 5 pounds. Maybe. It's pathetic. I'm, I'm a bit upset. I think I'll go inside and uh, cry. And I don't know. Maybe my wife will give me a cookie or something to try to make me feel better. But I'm not happy tonight. This is a pretty poor harvest.